Our grandmother friend Cindy will be coming back, but let's meet uh, Jose Baez, the defense attorney for Casey Anthony. Casey's being held on charges related to the disappearance of her two-year-old daughter, Kaylee. In Miami is our friend Stacy Honowitz, the assistant Florida state attorney who specializes in child abuse and sex crimes. And in Madison Heights, Michigan, Dr. Daniel Spitz, forensic expert, chief medical examiner for Macomb County, Michigan. A judge today denied to block media access to Casey's phone calls and visitation conversations in jail. Everything was released. And let's just listen for a moment to Casey talking with her brother Lee. Kaylee's okay right now? My gut feeling, my mom asked me yesterday, and even her day asked me last night, the psychologist asked me this morning that I met with through the court, um, in my gut she's still okay, and it still feels like she's, she's close to home. Okay. So, I mean, that's still my, my best feeling at the moment. Again, if that changes, I mean, obviously I'm going to reach out and say something immediately, but I know mom will understand this better than anyone, that there's that type of bond that you have with your kids. Right. And it's, you know, it's unexplainable. Did you, Absolutely. Did you speak with um, Kaylee over the phone at any time? I did one time, yes. And that was actually the day that Mom had called the police. Okay. Do you remember what time you spoke to her? Around noon. It was through a private call. Jose Baez, you're Casey's attorney. What's your read on this case? Well, I, my read on this is that she's basically uh, being prosecuted for a homicide without any evidence. And the presumption of innocence has flown out the window, and, and that really scares me. Stacey Honowitz, what do you read of the prosecution's case, if any? Well, first of all, anybody looking at this case, it doesn't take a prosecutor to realize that there's something not right. 31 days go by, and this woman does not report that her child is missing. And there's no panic in her voice when she's talking to anyone in the jail or even when she's sitting in a courtroom. So certainly she's going to be a person of interest to the police because she's the only person who knows where this child might be. And the fact that she's not cooperating certainly brings to mind that something is not right. So all of these feelings of the presumption of innocence, these are things that she's bringing on herself by not cooperating, by not being in a panic, by not trying to figure out who has her child. I think that's Dr. Spitz, no, I'm, I'm, hold on, Jose, just one thing from Dr. Spitz. Dr. Spitz, there were reports of the smell of a decomposing body in the trunk of that car. The answer was that it was a pizza or something. What? What is? Is there a similarity in those two spells? Smell? No, not not really. That's very concerning to me. The smell of decomposition is very distinct. The fact that it was appreciated by this uh, homicide detective and now child child uh, abuse detective that's very concerning to me. And I think that uh, as that evidence gets evaluated, you may in fact be able to prove that this was the uh, the remains of a human body. Jose, is this something that, uh, is the prosecution saying, well, we don't have a body, that it sort of looks like a duck, acts like a duck, walks like a duck, it might be a duck? Well, the, you got to bear in mind, this is the same dog that uh, smelled something in the backyard, was inconsistent, so they had to bring in another, an, uh, another dog, and they dug there for two days and found nothing. Um, at best, this dog is one for two. At worst, it's over for two. And I, I, quite frankly, I don't like those odds. Huh. What and do you think happened to the baby? Well, we believe this child has been kidnapped, and what's, what's really disappointing is that people aren't searching for her as well as they should be. We want to get the word out that Kaylee is still missing. We want to do everything we can to facilitate the search. Uh, the prosecution can wait. Uh, if there is a missing child out there, we need to do every single thing we can to find this little girl and not uh, put obstacles in front of that, and that's, and that's the problem. And it, what was said earlier about uh, her not cooperating with police, that's clearly a misstatement. What happened was she spoke with police that night. They decided to charge her and, and, and start a criminal proceeding. Since then, I have opened myself up in the line of communications with law enforcement, and I've told them, if you have any leads that you want to bounce off my client, I would be happy uh, to bounce right. them off her and give, her, and give you access. And, and the fact that she's not cooperating is just a misstatement. Stacy, does the 31 days, is that what bothers you the most? I mean, there's a number of things. I mean, if you look back into the investigation and everything that's been released so far, there's been such inconsistent statements. And his client, in and of herself, has given false leads because everything that they've tried to go down, every path that they've tried to find something out, has been a lie. She lied about 
working. She lied about the babysitter. She lied about leaving the babysitter. So all these things, when you say cooperating, the idea of cooperating is telling the truth. And in this case, all these leads have been by her have been false. So it's not just the 31 days. That's the worst of Doctor, it. I think any Dr. parent Spitz, would go crazy. Dr. Spitz, a mysterious stain apparently was found in the trunk. Police are awaiting for results. What, what might you read into that? Well, I'll tell you, while Stacey's comments about all the misstatements are, are very concerning, it's going to be the forensic evidence which is going to crack this case open. And uh, while the cadaver dog may not have been exact in, his, uh, in the dog's approach, the dog certainly has led investigators to certain things that need to be further evaluated. The decomposition smell came from something, and uh, the stain that you mentioned is forensic evidence. So while that gets evaluated, I think we're going to have some, some results, and I think we're going to have uh, much more information to go on. It's very concerning at the length of time this child's been missing, and the longer this goes, the more likely uh, we're dealing with a homicide investigation. Let's listen to more of a conversation uh, Casey had with her brother Lee, released by the police. Watch. Is there anything specifically? I know you're going to meet with, um, you know, the uh, investigators and everything. You know, is there anything specifically, the details that you want to clarify to me now? So when I'm following up on my own leads and my own information, putting the stuff together, you know, that I can start working on it now. Um, at the moment, there's nothing specific or nothing that, you know, should probably be said here. Um, again, I'll put something together before I see Jose or when I see Jose. And, you know, make sure that I have something also to, to put out. Right. So that way you can get everything. Okay. And just remember, when you get to talk to those guys, um, you know, you mentioned that, you know, you're going to have your prep and everything with Jose. Uh -huh. But remember, truths don't hurt. Jose, do you believe this child's alive? Yes, I do. I, I really do. And I think if we concentrate on looking for her, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to find her. And uh, I've said a million times, my case looks a whole lot better if we find Kaylee. And that's what I want us to try and focus on. And we've done everything we possibly can to try and assist. Um, you know, there's a lot being said of her cooperation, but I've got to tell you, I've taken an oath to protect my client and her interests. And if you want to drop it anywhere, drop it right here. I'm going to defend my client and protect her from uh, what's going on in the system. And uh, we certainly want to help Stacey. with the cooperation. Stacy, do you believe law enforcement is looking for the child? Well, I can't imagine why they wouldn't be. I mean, if they get a report that a child is missing, you know, within a couple of hours, they issue an amber alert under normal circumstances. So in this case, 31 days, you heard the police officer on the tape say to her, why did you wait 31 days to report this? So you would hope, and I, I'm sure that they are actively uh, yeah. investigating and trying to find this child. And, yeah. and Dr. Spitz, you're saying forensics will answer this. I, I truly hope so. You know, this, the fact that uh, it's been 31 days really puts law enforcement in a, in a tough spot. But the bottom line is, is if this is a homicide investigation, it's going to be the forensics, even without a body. The forensics in that car may, in fact, tell us what happened. We'll have Cindy Anthony come back and comment on what we've just heard right after this.